there's something about when we're out here, it just gets real. It gets real really quick. Um, there's a rawness too, especially when people feel pushed just to their threshold and, and, and their perceived limitations. And being able to then step in with a little flashlight and let them know like, hey, like this is, this is where you're at right now. This is what you're experiencing. Sit with that for a little bit. Where are you feeling it? How is that impacting you? Can you make an informed decision about what to do next? It just feels like a really big privilege to be a part in any facet of, of that stage of, um, of where somebody's at. I think that if you're in treatment and perhaps came from a place of avoiding emotions, then coming out with Pivot Point can be a really safe space to re-engage with yourself, to find your emotions again and to start to figure out who you were and who you'd like to be, to set some goals and to start to re-experience maybe fun or perhaps pain in a safe container. We cater to people that are sometimes struggling to thrive and survive we're trying to lift a burden off of people's shoulders. And not only that, but you're gonna be able to talk about all of the things that are really stressing you out right now and be welcomed by a group of people that want to show this experience and show this other side of being in the mountains. I have seen the work we do really change people and facilitate healing and growth. What I love about Pivot Point is taking people out into the woods who might not otherwise be able to afford it or have access to it. The, the setting, like the wilderness setting, really helps facilitate like the transference of what we're learning out here back into the, the, you know, the real world. What we're here to do is from this moment, create a new script, a new narrative. And we find that being out here, being on the river, um, having your nose pressed against a rock, those are environments where it's a good access point to getting to the thing under the thing under the thing. There's just this, this wild thing that happens when you're in the woods and you're talking about what's going on internally for you and you don't have any distractions around you and you're so quiet. All you can hear is your thoughts and all you can feel is your feelings. So you're so able to tap into things that normally would be masked by those distractions you take that X factor and you compound it with really amazing group facilitation. And I've just seen the most incredible things happen in the woods.